Hello, hello, happy Sunday. Welcome. I'm going to get started here in just a second. I'm just going to give the room just a minute to build because, of course, um, as usual at this point. Let's get the live chat up. Let me get it on here so I can see it. Welcome, 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 ladies. Hello, Sunflowerish. Welcome. Happy Sunday. Hello, hola, Carmen. We're going a little bit old school. <laughs> hi, Peaches. Hi, Brina. And by old school, I'm talking about like pre-COVID because um, I have, hi, Queen Bee, Bianca. I have a box. <laughs> it's been <laughs> all kinds of things. So I am just hoping. Well, I'm not hoping. It's going to be okay. And as soon as the live is over, I'll go and wash me back down and get the box back out of the house. But we're going to go old school tonight and do an unboxing. This will be my second bag from this particular brand and um we're gonna send none other than miss keisha m to the enabler corner for this one so i um i think i'm not positive but i think i introduced keisha to this brand but then when she made her purchase she actually selected a different color and then um, I, I was inquisitive about, you know, the color because I hadn't seen it. And then when she sent me the picture, it kind of solidified the fact that I was ready to go ahead and make my uh, second purchase. So I'm talking about none other than Go Forth Goods. And I am hoping that this is going to be a really good uh, Super Bowl party reveal because I haven't opened it yet. But I did kind of blindly, based on Keisha's picture, kind of blindly pulled some accessories. And we're going to go through and see what, if any, of the accessories that I have will pair with this new baby so let me just check and see who we have in uh, if you ladies would go ahead and hit the thumbs up i've got ingrid scott gina johnson says what keisha m who's in the enabler corner tonight classic mg florentine quack samurai robertson m squares Rosalind ellis miss angie qb Blanca Wallace, Brina 1971, Peaches C, Carmen Hawkins, and Sunflowerish 6. Uh, we also have had Bad Crazy to join. Ladies, go ahead and hit the thumbs up for me. I really appreciate it. I've got my handy dandy. It's been forever since this was a guest on Feed Your Addiction or anything else because I've been opening things up at the door. But it helps that... Um, I've kind of gone in and seen this operation, met the people. Um, it doesn't have to travel too far to get to me. So I'm hoping there are no um, COVID vibes on it. But it's been sprayed down nonetheless. I didn't take my address label off the box. So that's the reason I'm doing it down here. I don't want to flash my address. Here we go with the packaging, and it is the limited edition Avery Tote, and this bag was made especially for me by Caroline M. on January the 29th of this year, so I love that. Oh my 
goodness, I just got transported straight to the Caribbean with this color. <laughs> it is in the color turquoise. It is another large Avery tote. Outside pocket, inside pocket. I did add the snaps. And I think on this one, I also um, got my initials added to the back pocket here on the center. Um, I don't know what it is. I have, you have the option of putting your initials someplace else on the bag. And I thought about having it added to the outside pocket, but I don't know. I just, I like, I like it in the inside. I don't know. And then those are the big interior pockets, which are larger than the Judy and Burke ones because when I switched bags, I had a hard time getting my stuff, all my stuff that I had in these big pockets in Dooney, which I had not experienced before, but <laughs> and she has her comeback boots on. This bag is ready for spring, ready for summer, and I'll have to check, like it could be a jewel tone on into the fall of the year, that shoulder drop is absolutely everything. <laughs> so Keisha, I'm so glad that I got the opportunity to see your picture um, of your bag because with this color being limited, once it's gone, it's gone. So I love, oh, it's, it is showing up true to color on camera as well. And it is in full grain, pebbled, textured leather. Mm, okay. All right. So, other things in the box. I've got a leather care card from the brand. And then a matching key ring, which is actually perfect because I had to have some spare keys um, made on yesterday. So that is timely. And there is also the Go Forth Goods sticker in the box, which I need to figure out what to do with these because this is from the red one. This is from the new one. So I need to figure out what I'm going to do with these. But that is what is in the box along with the last thing is the um, address business card address card for their uh, production facility here in Georgia. Oh, I love this color. Okay, okay, okay. I'm not going to gush over the bag too much longer without showing you accessories. Because it is Super Bowl Sunday, and um, I'm sure there are other things on your plate. But I do want to play with some accessories to see what you think about some of these pairings and whether or not um, they will work with this bag. Which most, if not all of them, could probably fit in this bag at the same time because it is a huge bag but let's just get started the first one is a coach charlie uh pouch and i just wasn't sure if the colors on here would pick up so this is number one it's a little subtle i don't know that i'm really seeing turquoise in here but let me know what you think about number one and of course, there's plenty of room for this on the inside. Like, it gets lost. And this, again, is the large. So 
So plenty, plenty, plenty of room there in the inside. But that is number one. All right, number one. Number two is none other than a cosmetic from Dooney. And these little things I think kind of go with like everything, every color because of the rainbow pattern and the colors, it just kind of goes with everything. So that is number two. I also like the leathers against each other because they, the corners on here have patinaed quite a bit. They're still not quite well, they're almost as dark as the leather on the straps. So that's number two. All right, so number two. All right, number three I pulled, but I'm not sure this one is going to pair. This was actually a gift from my tribe sister, military mom. And this is number three. I was thinking that this might have appeared a little bit more blue-green against the turquoise, but it actually makes this look even more green under the light. So blues and greens are complementary colors. And this has all of the organization in the inside as a, um, like as a Carrington. So card slots and so forth. So it could work as a wallet, but I think I may have some pieces color-wise that may be a little bit um, better coordinated with it. But that's number three, so let me know what you think about number three. All right, that's three. Number four is completely... Why did I pick this up? Was this on purpose? So number four is this Target pouch that has marbling in it. And there's a little bit kind of of a, is it blue? There's a tiny little bit of like, and it's looking blue on camera, but like a little bit of turquoisey green veining in here but uh, I don't think that it's enough for me to say I don't know that might work as a catch-all in here of course the back side is a little different so that's number four Okay, number five is no stranger to this channel because it's been on here before. I love that together. You know, I got these with the golden mango, sunflower, dandelion pieces in mine, but... I really like this and I'm losing is this number six or number five so that's three four this is number five I like five together this is a coach gallery pouch I really really like this together and I have a this only has two card slots in it so I could either use this as a catch-all or I could grab one of the Target card um, cases and add it in here to use it as a wallet. Or I also have a couple of uh, card cases from the Beacon collection that I think are, I think I've got one... It's either one of these two colors or a cross between these two that I could use this as a catch-all and then use that as kind of my wallet from a card case. So this is number five. Doesn't that say take me to the beach, take me to the Caribbean? Like 
travel, tropical. It, it's it's ready for sunshine. So okay, all right, all right, all right. That's number five. All right, number six is another Target pouch and the lips kind of catch the reflection of the turquoise. I don't know if y'all can see it. The This like periwinkle color, not so much, but because of the, um, I, uh, the lips, I don't know. I think the periwinkle may throw it off for me just a little bit because it's so dominant. But the interior, the lips, the design actually does pull. All right. So the next one is another... Um, gift from one of my tribe sisters. This one is from Kimberly Mines. Is this one from Kim? Or Carmen, is this one from you? I think this one is from Kim. I like that together. I like this. The colors here, I think that pulls it also means that I could compare, I, I could pair some of my other solid colored accessories with it and kind of let this be the pop or the print and put some other solids with it to make that work. I kind of like that together. I like it together a lot. Yeah. I like that one. That's, that's so far... I would say that these three so far are the ones I like best with it. Not together, for somebody maybe just joining. Not together, but I like these so far individually with the turquoise. All right, so now... Number eight is Target again. Look at the size of this pouch compared to this outside pocket. For those of you that have these Target pouches, you know that they are little power houses they pack a punch you can get a lot in here but just look at that compared to the size of the outside pocket on the avery so this is eight i do like this together it's just enough for there to be some interest but not so bold that I couldn't, couldn't make it work. Look at that. Look, look at that. Now y'all see why I was struggling going back to Dooney, the Dooney pockets. Do, look at this. <laughs> Those pockets are huge. All right, I think we're on number nine. Number nine is a, another Tribe Sister um, gift. And this one is from M's Squares. And it has the Henry Bindle Girls uh, patchwork all over the front of front and back. So it's the same. And I like that together. I just, I love, I think as, as much as I miss the HB bags, I do feel like I got a nice collection 
But I will tell you what I really miss are their little graphic type accessories and prints and that offering because there isn't another brand that provides this kind of whimsical, you know. You know, I do think I have another. I like this with it though. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? With the HB girls. Look at that pocket. This pouch. Oh, because of the stitching on the side, it's not going to go in there completely. But it's a big pocket. See where the stitching is? That's what's keeping it from going completely. But once it loosens up a little bit, once this pocket stretches out just a little bit, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Hold, please. Yep, it's in there. See that? And once this stretches out just a little bit, it's going to be perfect. Whole pouch in the outside pocket. Here's another one, because I've got some other ones over here that I think may work. Because I got a whole thing of accessories over here. Free Wanderer. I think this is going to be blue. So I don't know if it's going to actually work. But let's see. There were a ton of these different um, pouches on um, Amazon. And I've got the link in my store. But they are selling out. Y'all have been busy making purchases. I like that together. I know y'all are going to say, but that's blue. Well, guess what? Turquoise is a kind of blue-green. And I kind of like, I like the look of it. I like the girls. I like the girls. I like the bag. My pouch, my bag. I can put this together because I can put taupey colors, brown colors, blue, whatever to make this work. I also have, again, a couple of card cases with some solid colors. So I could make this be the center of attention with that one. I like that. All right, all right. So I'm really off now because this one wasn't even supposed to be tonight. Here's another purchase. This one was from the South Carolina um, meetup, which was pre-COVID. And both DJ King and Mono's Beauty and I believe Carmen Hawkins also has this one. So, I don't know that it's going to pair because this is blue-blue, not a blue-green. But, I think I can make it work. I like that. And especially summertime, springtime, adding some either mustard, the red, the white. Um, this is actually more... blue than turquoise but compared once it's together that color kind of shade shifts and on camera as well as in person it pairs and this even this one being a little bit larger it doesn't take up much space at all and it's got a butt on it but it's not going to it gets lost in there. Can y'all see it? 
There's tons of room. Work bag, travel bag, weekend bag, uh, paper bag. Amazing, amazing. Okay, um, let's go with Miss Busybody accessory because she goes with everything. Yeah, she goes with everything. Does that not fit in there? Does that? Okay, she does not. She does not fit in long in um, horizontally. And I wouldn't carry it around on the outside, but it does go. Ooh. So here's like this together and I think I like this together because I know that once I move into this wallet for the most part any other bag that I move into afterwards I don't have to worry about changing my wallet I may swap out my accessories may swap out my catch-all but this wallet because of all of the colors it goes with a lot of different stuff and I like it because the interior of the wallet is not black I don't know what it is, black interiors of bags, black interiors of wallets, and even black bags, they just are not my go-tos. They, I know that's, you know, a, you know, a sin for some people's collections. I do have black bags, but they are not bags that I reach for often. And if you've been here long enough, then I'm sure you know that. But I like this. I like it. The blue, the green, the, I, I All right, next up is a, I don't even know when I got this, but it looks like it might go with this based on the color I'm seeing through the package. I think it is a Hayden or maybe an Anna from Coach. Snap, good grief. Like seriously, let go. Whew. All right. So the idea of a grab and go piece inside of a bag or um, a, an oversized wallet. You know, I love my Alice's. I love Carrington. Um, I love the Jet Set Travel Wallet from MK, the Continental Wallet from MK. And this one is giving me um, Coach Large Wristlet vibes. And it could easily, I think, let's see what, what we put it. So it could serve as the wallet. No, it's not an identical color, but it is close enough. But I could do something like this as a wallet and then use something like this as the catch-all. I like that together. I could also use again as the wallet and as a catch-all
I like that. I like either combination with the Tarte J pouch, either of the galleries, and I don't even know what color. Let me tell you what color this is in case you're on the hunt for it. Let me see. Um, I don't see. Oh, here we go. All right. So it is in the color aqua. So the bag is in turquoise. This accessory is in aqua. And it is item number 3037. Again, 3037. And the color code is SV, so Sam Victor slash or dash AQ, AQ for Adam Quincy, SVAQ, item number 3037. And I like that I can either use or not use a strap. I can always add a chain uh, strap to it so it's more grab and go. I prefer the Hayden and the Anna that have the hardware so you can actually change the strap as opposed to the one that loops through and snaps um, underneath the flap. I don't particularly care for that one. I think my red one though may be like that, but I like the strap um, option because I can always take the strap off, leave it in my bag, and then run to the grocery store, run to the drugstore, um, go out to grab lunch with just this. And my phone will fit in the pocket on the back. So I do like that with it, with the other pieces. And check this out. This was sometime during COVID. This double zip wallet popped up on Coach. And I don't know that it's going to go great with these, this bag. But what it reminded me of were all of the Montego, Siesta, cramps that we picked up a couple of summers ago from Dooney. And I didn't have, I don't think I have any wallet accessories out of all of those purchases. So I picked this up thinking it would go like in my gym bag or the duffel. It could go in some of the bags that I have. This color will also go, if you picked up the, um, the emerald, I think it's emerald, ivy, no, ivy colored McKenzie off of ILD. This will work with the um, ivy bag. It will also work with, um, I think it will work with grass. I'll have to pull something out grass and see how it works together. But I just thought that with me not being a frequent buyer of green, that this would work with several of my green based accessories, especially considering the shades light and dark in here. But I don't think that I like it with this at all. Okay, that's not going to work. It got part of the way, but 
but maybe after it stretches a little bit because the pockets on my red one have definitely gotten a little bit bigger and things that initially wouldn't fit in the pockets when I first revealed it, they go in there now. So maybe this will work, but I'm pretty sure that the Coach Large um, wristlet and the small wristlet, which are basically half the size, which the front part of this, I'm pretty sure those would work with no problems, but I don't have one of those in here. So I think this one is a no for me. I don't particularly care for that together. And then the last piece is another gallery. And I love this with it. And it would work with this wallet catch all grab and go in either but this has more card slot organization strap so it i think i like this combo together as well yeah yeah i like it i like it a lot i like it a lot so Keisha, thank you. It looks like uh, there have been a few people that at least joined you in the enabler corner because of um, accessories, but I, I think I have a lot of options. I have some solid pieces that can kind of pull some of the other pieces together. I've got some card cases that I can use if I decide to um, use like the gallery pouches as a wallet instead. I can use some card slots or card accessories in there to give me some additional organization. I did not pull any of the Alice's, but I do have a Caribbean blue Alice that I think will pair well with it because I could use one of these has like the catch-all and then use Alice as my wallet. And this bag is large enough that I could absolutely have Alice and any one of these in there with no. And I think I, so I have Alice in Caribbean blue and... Maybe that's the only one, but I do also have the Big Sister Carrington, which would work in here size-wise. I have that one in Caribbean blue, uh, Caribbean blue, Calypso, and I think the Calypso would probably pair well with this. What else do I have that would go with this? Hmm. Um, maybe my accessory pleat pieces for the shiny it with the black background because it will, the colors will pop against this, even though it's in black. Um, the novelty print large wristlet from Dooney. I don't think that one will go. It's got like cupcakes and hearts and bumblebees, but I don't think it has any colors that would pull from the background of this one. Um, I've got a couple of other double zip wallets that may work, but I'm overall, I'm pleased with the stash that I have, the size of the bag, and of course I already know it works. And to know that I already have a 
Oh, yes, sus. That one absolutely would work. The doodle print because I have that in the large zip around wallet that has tons of organization in it. So that one would work. Um... The accessory piece that came with the uh, McKenzie would probably work in here. I also have a small cosmetic that came with a TSV from Dooney. It was a patent piece, but it's in a bright bluish green turquoise color. I think it will work. I also have um, French blue, so the blues and greens, again, tropical could coordinate, and then I could, again, pull another pouch. I have a French blue Dooney card case, so I could use that as the wallet, this as the catch-all, or as a hand, you know, a, a, a sanitizing kit station or whatever. So I've got tons of options. And now I can kind of sit back, take a break, and see what new colors they are going to offer. For those of you that liked the crimson, um, when I placed this order, which now is two weeks ago? Yeah, I think the box has been sitting for like two weeks. Um, the crimson was back in stock for the large. They also had added a navy blue color leather. The oxblood was there. Caramel or caramel was there. Um, and then they added, I think it's called forest green. Says, so is that the color we were talking about? Is it forest green or was it an ivy green? But they've added some other colors. So if you have not been back over there to check out the color offering it may be a good time to check I think it looks a little bit differently than it did going into the holiday season there are also um, a few colors that are offered in the large size that are not offered in the medium and there are colors that are offered in the large that you can customize, which is what I did with this one again, that I don't believe are available in the deluxe. And the difference in the large and the deluxe is the deluxe comes with the finished top and a zipper. It also has the outside and inside pockets. So those, it's, it's a little bit more, the top of the bag is more finished. It's not the raw leather edge. So there, that may be something of interest. I know that the raw edge is not necessarily for everyone, but I'm going to do an update probably at the end of this month, maybe, maybe in March of the wear the tear the patina an update on the crimson one because i have been living in that one and i just want to kind of show you what that looks like after the bag has been heavily used not babied at all um and i know that everybody is different we had uh snow flurries sleet snow showers rain here in Georgia yesterday and I know some of you are gonna cringe when I say this but my natural Florentine was out in all of that yesterday <laughs> in the sleet the rain the snow and I'm talking about big wet fluffy snowflakes um and it's fine I'll have to show you that it's fine I did treat that bag before I carried it um, and I know not everybody does that, but she's fine. She's fine. And I refuse to have a bag in my collection that I can't carry because God is doing his work outside. I'm just, I'm not going to have anything in my collection that I am so fearful of 
getting spots or dots or whatever on that I have to be anal when it comes to tracking the weather and I've got to change my bag. Because listen, usually when it's time to go, it's time to go. And I am always a just in time. A just, listen, if the flight leaves at 11 o'clock, right? I am getting to the gate as they are calling my boarding group. If I am going somewhere and we're going to meet for brunch and Brina and, and uh, VPW can vouch for this, brunch, usually one of us is late. And by one, I mean any one of us will run late. But if we say 11, if I'm going to be the one that's on time that session, I'm getting there at like 10.59 and like 58 seconds. Like I'm on, I'm on time. I'm just not early. But all of that to say, I think that's enough for tonight. I've got plenty of bags, plenty of accessories, plenty of... Um, to play with, I've got my bag organizer that I can put in if I choose to. I have plenty of cards and uh, solid color accessories. I even have, I probably should have checked my tech tops because I believe I have a tech top that is in sky blue that might coordinate with those same Target and Coach gallery pouches that can kind of pull all of that together. So I think this is going to be a fun bag, not only for the spring and the summer, but maybe in the fall of the year as a jewel tone. And um, I'm not spraying this bag. I'm not treating this bag. I didn't do that with the other one. This leather, as it ages, is supposed to get better. It's full grain, so it's gonna show its natural beauty. So where I've done that with my natural quarantine pieces, not all of them, but the one that I carried um, this past week, it was treated before I stepped out of the house with it. And, you know, I, I guess it worked out because we had bad weather, but even if it didn't and we had bad weather, I know from my Buckley experience that for, I think where a lot of people mess up with their Florentine is it gets wet and the first thing you want to do is dry it or wipe it. And I think that's what helps to set the spots in because it's a hide. It's leather. And cows don't go in the house when it's raining. And not all of them can fit in the barn. So that leather is accustomed to being out in the elements. But cows don't dry off after it rains or snows. Think about it for a minute. They don't. They don't dry off like you do when you get out of the shower. It air dries. And when my bags have gotten wet and I wasn't fussy over it, just let it air dry, I have not had any issues. Now, I acknowledge that some of you live in places with different altitudes and some of you live in places where there's far more pollution that's in the raindrops, that's hitting your bag. But I'm just, I'm talking about my experience with my bags and I won't be treating this one and I'm going to show you what the red one looks like after heavy wear. It has also been in snow and rain and tumbled off of the front seat and... It's been at the park and at the grocery store and at Walmart and in Ikea and all of that stuff. And I'll just give you an opportunity to be the judge to see if as an everyday bag, it was my, it is my everyday bag right now, what that looks like. Because I know seeing is believing and some of you may still be unsure about the brand. Some of you may be looking again for a more polished look. And that's fine. It's not for everyone. But I, at least for those that are curious, I at least want to be able to provide an update and show you 
what my bag that has gone completely through the ringer looks like. So please make sure that you hit the thumbs up before you head out. Let me know in the comments if you're watching on the replay which of the accessories I featured tonight um, are your favorites. What would you put with it? And um, if you have pulled the trigger on a Go Forth Goods tote, then whether in the comments or in the live stream, I'm interested to hear your thoughts. Um, Keisha, you know, I'm, I'm not the only one that's pulled the trigger. Keisha's had her bag in this color for a little bit longer. Um, what do you think of it? Is it worth the money, the customer service? Is Candy Crusher in the chat tonight? Have I missed her? I just, you know, it's always good to hear different perspectives on brands, bags, purchases, because I think that's how we as consumers in this handbag community make better purchase decisions when you can kind of hear different perspectives from different folks about how they use it, how it wears, the colors, the leather, their choices, the um, add-ons, all of that I think helps you to make a more informed decision. I did get the longer of the straps because it is an option and that is not um, an upgrade cost, but you do have the option. Um, but this shoulder drop, drop. I don't have to thread it. It goes straight from the palm of my hand straight to my shoulder. I don't have to do this longer. I just don't feel like I should, if a bag is supposed to make my life easier, cross bodies are supposed to give me the flexibility to be hand free, hands free. But if I can find a shoulder bag or toad or whatever, that gives me some of the same freedoms, access, flexibility that, for example, an on-the-go crossbody provides by being, you know, able to drape and hold, then I think that's what I found in this one. And it works. So let's see who else we have in the chat tonight. Brina 1971. So Keisha says that she hasn't worn it yet, but... She would definitely purchase again, probably in the larger size. That's right. She got the medium size. My two purchases have been in the large. Um, a phenomenal personality has joined. Bad Crazy, Gina Johnson. Who else? Dee Dee, welcome. Happy Sunday. Diamond Fiaco, Finico. I'm slaughtering that. Charged in my head and not my heart. Um, let's see who else we have in here. Queen B, Bianca Wallace. Bad Crazy. Angela Zuni. Hey. Who else do we have? Peaches C. Gian, Gina. Gian Norsworthy. Uh, Shani Cole is in here tonight. M Squared is in here. Um, Justy. Roslyn. I think I'm seeing the same names over and over again now. Carmen. Samaria. Yep, I think I'm, I'm back to the top where I'm seeing. Nope. Um, Carla. Beam is in the chat tonight. I've seen Dee Dee's name in here before. Who else? Miss Angie says what? Living Lil' Kim Life. Hello, happy Sunday. Who else? Who else? And Sunflowerish Six and Carmen Hawkins. Thank you, ladies, for spending. Part of your Super Bowl Sunday with me. Gina Johnson got the red. Um, I hope you are loving it. What size did you get, Gina? I, 
I'm not sure whether Gina got the large or um, the medium. But uh, Keisha, of course, she like I think she likes the medium based on the comment. But her next one is going to be the large. And I think I'm spoiled. I don't know that I will do a smaller size in this one. Maybe I will, but I'm definitely loving this one. So, uh, please hit the thumbs up. Thank you so very much for watching. Mrs. Q will be back on Friday for For Real Friday. Please keep her and her family in your prayers um, as they um, mourn and for traveling mercies as they make their way back home. Uh, thank you so very much for watching. I hope whatever team you are cheering for in the game tonight uh, wins. Quite honestly, I didn't even know that it was the Super Bowl until somebody asked me if I was going to make some dip. <laughs> I was like, for what? So anyway, um, enjoy the rest of your Super Bowl Sunday. Please hit the thumbs up. If you are not yet subscribed, I kindly ask that you consider hitting the subscribe button and turning on the notification bell so that you do not miss any of my future uploads or live streams. Thank you so very much for watching. Until next time, I do hope you find something that feeds your addiction. Take care.